It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking nonlinear systems where we're going to graph the system and plot the solutions. Here we go. We're asked to consider the given system of equations 2x plus y equals 1 and y equals x squared, subtract 2x, subtract 3. And we're asked to graph the system and then we're going to plot the points that represent the solutions to the system. Here we go. So we're given 2x plus y equals 1, which is a linear equation, and y equals x squared subtract 2x subtract 3, which is a quadratic equation. So let's clear our workspace. We'll begin by graphing the linear equation. So there's several strategies here, but I'm going to solve for y by subtracting 2x from both sides, leaving me y equals negative 2x add 1. Now it's in slope-intercept form. So I am going to graph the y-intercept, which is positive 1, and here it is on the graph, and then I know that my slope is negative 2. So I'm going to rise 2 and run negative 1 to plot a point, and I'm going to rise negative 2 and run positive 1, and now I have another point, and there's my line. So now we've graphed the line 2x plus y equals 1. Now we're going to graph the quadratic. That's a little trickier. So I'm going to factor this to find the x-intercepts. So when I factor it, I can say that x subtract 3 multiplied by x add 1 is equivalent to x squared subtract 2x subtract 3. Negative 3 multiplied by positive 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 add negative 1 is negative 2. So it factors. Now I'm going to use the zero product property and solve for the x-intercepts. So when x subtract 3 equals 0, I get x equals 3. When x plus 1 equals 0, I get negative 1. So let's plot those. We're going to plot the point 3 and the x-intercept negative 1. And now I'm ready to identify that the axis of symmetry is halfway between, which is the line x equals 1. So I'm going to go back to the quadratic, and I'm going to plug 1 in for x, which becomes 1 squared, and then negative 2 times 1. 1 squared is 1, subtract 2, subtract 3 gives me negative 4. So I know that when x is 1, y is negative 4, giving me another point on my quadratic function. So the other thing I know is this y-intercept is negative 3. That means I have to have a point on the other side because it's symmetrical. And now I can graph my quadratic. And now I can look at my system and see that one solution, a point in intersection here, is negative 2, 5, and the other point of intersection here, which is positive 2, negative 3. And there are your solutions to your system.